Yeah, that's six you was thinking, bro. Let me get some Yeah, All right, hot with the cold summers. You know that. I owe you because I ate your chicken yesterday. Right. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. I mean, you know, we stay supporting. That's how that goes, man. Like, you know what I mean? It's um. Yeah, my topic like like ultimate frustration of trying to get through to somebody. That's pretty much what my topic is. Like when you when you're so frustrated because you think or you feel like the the other person just don't understand or or or, or trying to hear what you got to say. How frustrating is that? And how do you get through that? What are we talking about? Communication? Yeah. But, but, but more, more, so, <laughs> more, so, more so of just, hey, Shakima. Just, just not being able to talk to your, to, to your significant other or your other half or however I, it goes. I could, you know I, could I, mean? vouch, I could vouch for that, not, not being able to talk. What's your question in regards to that? Um, how, do you, how, do you get through, how, how do you get past the frustrating part of it? Because once you get frustrated, you kind of shut down. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, know you so, want to shut down. So it's like, how do you how do you come up, how do you come up out of that? Like for the for people who need that, like like I know I know a couple people, I know a couple couples. It's, yes. just, it's just like that. It's just like that around. Right. So how do you come out of that? So I think the first way that you, it's not even really about how you come out of it. I think you have to really just understand the level of respect that you have for yourself. Right. Never to let anyone get to you right. that bad that you can't um, express yourself. Right. Whether they want to hear you or not doesn't really matter. Right. So what's going to happen is when you are trying to have a conversation with this person and, and they don't want to hear what you have to say, you be humble. Don't ever allow anybody else to take you out of your element because always be true to you and who you are. Right. When you're true to you, they got two choices to either step off or step up gotcha. and hear you. Gotcha. If they don't want to hear you, then maybe they're not right for you. And that's just the reality of it, you know? All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, that's why, I, that's why I brought that up because I know she's coming in here. Like, oh, <laughs> that I need. So let's, let's, get, let's get right into the book. You know what I'm saying? Because your oh. book explains a lot of this. Yes. You know what I mean? And a lot more powerful information. And it if y'all don't know, you know what I'm saying? This is the queen of minds up. You yes. know what I'm saying? She, she, you know I mean? she goes all around the world telling you to get your mind up. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You're so right. And, 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 and let's jump right into the book and explain the book. So we, we well, for, well, first of all, let's let's talk about the book. The name the name of the book is called "Get Your Life Together." <laughs> and why did I title the book "Get Your Life Together"? Um, you know, basically, honestly, I had like three other names for the book. I had Diamonds Divinity, and then I had um, two other two other ones. But right before I was getting ready to actually published the book, mm -hmm. I heard Get Your Life Together. And so I was like, Get Your Life Together? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I changed it instantly. And I tell you, the response that I got from Get Your Life Together was a heck of a lot more powerful yeah. than Diamonds Divinity. I think when, when I had it as Diamonds Divinity, it was more about me. Okay. It was more about, my name is Takiya Diamond, you know, I'm going to give you what's divine inside of me, but Get Your Life Together was like, no, truthfully, this is about the people who have followed your music career, gotcha. people who have followed you in the movie, gotcha. getting buck wild, right, right, you feel right, what right, I'm right, saying? Right, yeah, this right. is about them, because they follow you. And all of your transitions, True. they're still here. True. So they're going to watch you evolve. Okay. You want to show them and say, what you're watching, you can do. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's possible for you, too. It's not about Takia. Right. It's about you seeing Takia as an example okay. of what's possible for you. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know? Gotcha. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 now, now, is, is some of the facts in this book, um, experiences that you went through, or, um, or just that you see. You know like, that mo most of them are that I see. Okay. Um, yeah, I know I do hair sure. as well, so you know if you anything gossip, about the yep, beauty salon, the <laughs> it's going down in the beauty salon. Okay, yeah, yeah. everybody talking about. You know, this man, you know, they man did this with whoever right, and right, who right. cheating on who and who down and who and this right. chick with that chick and his man and, oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know, 
<laughs> you know, and I have heard the stories like for so long. So I think there was always something within me from day one that was more like a counselor person. Right. So for what Every reason people have always come to me with their problems, issues, or whatever, you sure. know, and I've always been able to help them get through it. Why? I don't know. I, I believe it's just a gift. You know what I mean? It's just a gift from the Most High. So when they would come in with the whole, and I mean, some of it, some of it, I, I, I have to be honest because y'all know me. I'm transparent, sure. you know. Um, some, some of the things were lessons that I learned, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? So... For example, in the book, I have never mixed business with pleasure. <laughs> and if you do, learn the keys that it takes to make that relationship work. Because the, the relationship doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to go wrong just because it's business and pleasure. Gotcha. And I'm going to tell you guys the secret. <laughs> I'm going to say, y'all getting this exclusive secret information right now. <laughs> Y'all better get y'all notebooks out because we in class. This mine's up class right now. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So, here's the key. If you're in a relationship of, I'm trying to, trying to make sure that, okay. So, if you're in a relationship that is you and a partner that you do business with. Right. Well, we gotta call it. It calls it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already know. We are gonna take your questions hey, in just a second. Back, <laughs> they didn't even do it to <laughs> hey, Dish. <laughs> hey, Glam. <laughs> so, if you come into a, a, a business plus pleasure relationship, the way that you make that relationship work is don't change from the way it was before you cross the line. Gotcha. See, what happens is, and I was talking to my brother about this exactly, yesterday. Exactly. What happens is when you mix business with pleasure, right? Before y'all cross over the line, you don't answer your phone. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I guess she busy. Or if he doesn't answer his phone, it's right. like, okay, I guess he busy. he see that. He missed my call. He'll call me back. Right. The moment that little into the stuff, so juicy start changing, <laughs> okay? It will be thing. Because now what used to be... Oh, here, call me back when you get this message is, why the hell you not answering your phone? Uh -huh. Where are you? Texting you, blowing up your phone, <laughs> all of that extra stuff that's just so extra. Whoa. Look, how do you know that he he didn't run into somebody that was way more important than what you probably got to say? <laughs> Truly, because you probably calling out of emotion anyway just because you know he not home. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, y'all know, don't get me started because I start going <laughs> in on everybody. <laughs> but, you know... That's just that's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you can maintain your composure and say, it's all about trust. It's either you trust the person you're with you with or you don't. If you don't trust them, it's no need to be in a relationship with them. That's the bottom line. There is no need to be in a relationship with somebody that you can't trust. And for those people who try to, like, Hold on to relationships that's oh, yes. Thing. Well, go ahead. Let me let you ask your question first because you know me. I'm just jumping right on it. <laughs> go ahead, Boo Boo. Okay. Just, just to work stuff out uh -huh. and deal with that. And deal with what? The bullshit. How much do you love yourself? A lot. So, first and foremost, both parties have to be wanting. To work, to it, work out. it out, yeah, that's true. It can't be can't one be person one side, wants yeah. to work it out because I really, really love him, and it's all right, you know. I'm just gonna tolerate the BS. There's no such thing as toleration when you love who you are, mm -hmm. because what has to happen is you tolerate yourself by saying, "I love me enough to know who I am and what I deserve." Mm -hmm. Now, if you choose to settle, you can't get mad when another chick that is a step above you who did respect herself. He's drawn to that. That's where women get it twisted. Like, oh, just because you he you side, oh, you gotta be the one. No, it's gonna be that one that's like, look, dude, I don't got time for this. I don't know what you used to, but that's what's gonna trigger his mind and make him be like, I can't stand this chick. When I'm digging her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's going to make him reevaluate his past relationships to say, like, do I want to stay in that naggy stuff or do I want to go somewhere that's going to make me happy? So if you're a nagger, 
you already lost him. I talk about that in the book too. No you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, the <laughs> book a lie. is juicy. Yeah, yeah, the book is juicy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, go ahead. You had another question? Yeah, what do you like more? Being the coach or the Um, both. Okay. Both. Um, okay, I'll be transparent again. <laughs> Because that's my middle name tonight, transparent. <laughs> I told I told I told everybody, you guys can call up and ask me whatever. I'm gonna just let you know what it is. <laughs> so um I love doing the whole motivational speaking and empowerment speaking and women empowerment and men empowerment events more to a certain extent because. When I go on stage and I sing a song and I could get up there and be real cute and sexy and all of that, and they will remember that for that moment. True. But when that show is over and the next act comes up, to Kid Diamond is no longer in their mind unless they see me in the street or, mm -hmm. you know, or watching me on Facebook or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to me standing up before a crowd and I'm giving you wisdom, when you leave me, you will you may never see me again, but you will never forget what I told you. You will never forget the nugget that I plugged in your head. And I think that's so much more powerful than, you know, just getting on stage singing a song, unless it's a song that got a message. And I will get into that later. I'll give y'all a little yeah. something, but yeah. I'm gonna give y'all too much. Yay! <laughs> Yes. Because <laughs> we, matter of fact, speaking of that, uh, we gonna we gonna play when you we gonna play. Okay, some, that's what's up. Come right back, and then she gonna get right back. Oh your yeah. Mind, you know what I'm saying? Because your mind needs to be up and all. Mind's up, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we be right back with the kid Diamond. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> What's good? Thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, Canal. Straight, what up, hey, yo? Cousin. Hey. Right, I miss I'm you guys. Right now, bro. What's going on? What y'all doing over there? Yo, listen, I want y'all to call in and ask your questions. Any relationship questions you might have, any transition questions you might have, you know, any questions about the word, hit me up. Hey, Christian, that's my baby. Hey, Christian. <laughs> All night long. The music makes my body rock. See, this is where I came from. Y'all know music is in me. Music, I can never leave music. You know, it's just in me, you know? Me and my girls, we go into the party. <laughs> Got on the stilettos and we rockin' them tight bodies. Sexy and we ballin', who need a man to ride? Shout out to the DJ, turn my music higher. Do them voices on there, wanna push the button. More hearts, more hearts, Ooh. I love it, more hearts. Hey, guys, mine's Staring when I step up in the party. You could buy me drinks, but that don't mean that I'm your shorty. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing wrong, and the music makes my body rock all night long. <laughs> the music makes my body rock all See, I still write good songs, guys. I still write good dance songs that you can still vibe to without me being crazy. You know, I got crazy ones, but that's the past. <laughs> and we rocking them tight. Hey, hey. Who need a man to buy it? Shout out to the DJ. I need to share this. Don't go nowhere, guys. Keep it locked, okay? I like that. I like the start coming up. Damn, you said it makes my body rock all night.
Some of y'all, some of some of you guys are new to me and probably didn't even know I did music, mm-hmm. but you learned something new today. <laughs> and then some of you knew I did music and didn't know that I was actually an author and a her. mindset coach. We got, and a, a, call spe- we got a caller. Caller, state your Bring name. Bring the noise. <laughs> caller, state your name. Hey, this is Tisha Writer. Hey! Tisha Writer. Hey girl. Hey. What's going on? You know, I'm just chilling. I'm resting. I'm resting. True, true. <laughs> Can you, is, do you, you, you got a good? Hey, Yeah, what's up? I got somebody else that want to say something right quick. All right. Oh, that's what's up. You <laughs> So much. Continue, baby. Continue to be encouraged, okay? I yes, I will. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. Thank you. God bless you too. <laughs> That's what's up. What <laughs> hey, Rich. <laughs> I see. I see. I see all my all my tune tuning fans that be uh, tuned into um. 
you know how I do my whole minds up money mindset talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that they all live right now. Call in, uh, yeah, three, call in. Nine, yes. Three, two, seven, nine, three, three. Repeat that number because I was talking over it. Nine seven three <laughs> nine three two seven nine three three. Tell me, call on in. Say call on in and say no, something. Man. Say to so say something. Tell them minds, tell them minds up, cool to call on in. Oh, they might have heard me. <laughs> Welcome, caller. State your name. Welcome, caller. State your name. Yes, um, this is um, Mr. Dutton calling in. Oh, hi. Shout out to Monkey's World. Okay, yes. thank you, Mr. Goodman. Yes, yes. H Squad Love Radio. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question for you. Mr. Kia, okay, go on with you. What's up? What's up, Mr. Goodness? Okay, now my first question is... Did you drop your phone? <laughs> we're here, we're here. <laughs> we're here. Hello? Hello, we're here. We're here. We're here. Yes, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He said, what has inspired you to write the book and give, it, give us the, uh, the inspiration to do what you do? All right. So, well, let's, let's start by saying that my fans were my biggest inspiration from, from the music world. Uh, I think that I have always put up, like, positive quotes and inspirational things for people. Um, at the time, I didn't see myself as a book writer. You know, I... Y'all know me. I was. I'm a songwriter. You know that I I could write you a poem if you want one of those. But a book writer, you know, I could give you a quote if you want one of those. But it was more like that's just what was in me. So that's what was coming out of me. So yeah. So then my fans started saying like, you need to write a book, and I was like, I don't write no book. I ain't got time to write no book. <laughs> I got I got music to make. Hey, write a book? You crazy? And then, I don't know, you know, what happened was one day I just, um, I sat down and as I was on Facebook going through like, um, you know how they have like the whole memory pop up stuff that came in some stuff came up from like, gotta be like 2010. Mm -hmm. And at the time I wasn't aware that I was enlightened. I was enlightened, but I wasn't paying attention the way that I'm completely awake now. Now I'm like, okay, this is this is that blah, 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 blah. So I started watching the stuff that I was saying back then and I was like, this is the same stuff that I said now. <laughs> and then you know, and then I just sat down and um I just started writing. All of this stuff just started coming out, coming out, coming out. And then I was like, uh oh, guess I am a book writer, huh? <laughs> and I just let it flow. I just let it flow, you know what I mean? I didn't stop it, you know? Initially, I was on some, you know, I ain't beat. But once it started to come out, it was so helpful that I was like, how dare I not complete this mission, mission and share, you know? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate thank that. You, and thank you for so much for showing love. Brother, hey, Corey. Brother. Hey, Carlos. <laughs> thank brother. you so much. I appreciate you calling in today. And make sure, did you get a copy of the book yet? Uh, no. Oh, because he won, right? <laughs> he off the, he's off the line. Oops, my bad. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part? Of Get Your Life Together? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. <laughs> of Get Your Life Together, what was my favorite chapter? I was just looking at this one. I think, okay, I think my favorite chapter was Love Don't Live Here Anymore. Put that down. Put boom, down. boom. I needed you to drop bombs on that one, Zay. <laughs> Love Don't Live Here Anymore. No, bye. <laughs> Break that down. <laughs> For those that don't know, break that down. <laughs> Love don't live here anymore. So I think that was my best chapter because I actually got a chance to express from two sides what it's like to, as a woman to feel 
burnt to get men. Well, first of all, let me say this: in music, y'all know a lot of a lot of women supported me, but I wrote a lot for the fellas. Say that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I support. Oh, I supported the fellas. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna give you guys like a a throwback record called Main Girl, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Right. And um, so. I talk to guys all the time. Like, they are my riders. To be honest with you, I have women supporters, but the men are my biggest supporters. The men, they they come out to them events. They purchase the books. They downloading, you know, whatever Takiya right. does. They, right. they, and I don't think it's because I'm a female. I think it's because I'm real. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I think it's because I'm honest. And a lot of times, um, some people can be a little too uh, false. <laughs> fabricated (laughs) you know what I mean so you know um but anyway love don't live here anymore so what I did in this chapter was I gave his point of view of what a man thinks after he goes through a breakup and I gave her point of view what she's thinking and how she's feeling after she goes through a breakup and then I gave like an overall because everything isn't the same for everybody but I'm pretty confident that the majority rules with what I share in the book okay so um for the guys like one of the things as far as me writing writing for um what more so understanding the fellas Mm -hmm. When a guy just went through a breakup or whatever, maybe he's still dealing with some stuff. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But when he's dealing with whatever it is that he's dealing with, sometimes a guy just wants to be in the company of a woman. It doesn't mean because he took you out, he took you know, you guys ate, and maybe y'all hugged a little something, or y'all had great conversation. Now all of a sudden, you think he want to get married to you, and that's where women get it twisted. Boom! Drop that bomb, say. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that. He wants to marry you. It means that he just wanted to be in the company of a woman, and at that particular time, you happened to be available. You were it. You were there, and it was all good. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But see, a lot of times women wear their their heart on their sleeve, yeah. so they yeah. just think. First of all, let me say, women, men don't think like women, and women don't think like men. But, see, he was on point. He got that bomb. <laughs> We, we just don't, you know what I mean? And I know um, sometimes people say, well, Taki, you, you're, you're a guy, so you don't count. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's not that I'm a guy, but I get them, you know what I mean? Like, I, I get, you know, sometimes a guy might feel like he got more than one woman. Does he want to really have more than one woman? Nobody wants to deal with all, the all that drama. Guys. Exactly. They really don't. They really, really don't. But what happens is it's like this one chick may have this one quality. This other chick got this other quality. Wow. This other chick got this other quality. And he wish he could just put all three of y'all together in one. <laughs> you know? You know, he wish that's what he wishes. <laughs> and that's mine's up right there. You know what I mean? He, he really does wish that he could just kind of put you all together and, 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 and make it work. But I'm not saying that it make it right because I also say that in the book too. You right. know what I mean? It doesn't make it right for him to him or the females because females don't get it twisted. We gonna play a song that I wrote right. called "You Know Don't Tell Me It's Over," okay? Mm-hmm. Because women we get we get it twisted too, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, we definitely we definitely get it twisted too. So. One thing that I have in the book that's very, very powerful is a quote, and it says, I love this one. People who are attracted to you because of your pretty face or your nice body won't be by your side forever. Mm-hmm. But the people who can see how beautiful your heart is will never leave you. <laughs> and, it's, and it's so true. You know what I mean? It's so true. You know, and I, and I always share with women, sometimes, you know, it's okay to be sexful. But it's one thing to be classy and sexy rather than 
trashy and think that you're sexy. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? That, that, that. I I, I kind of hate that word. Like, I don't even like for a guy to even be like, yeah, what up, sexy? I'm like, oh my God, please find another word. And I will inbox you that back. <laughs> no, no, seriously. I mean, my supporters, they'll tell you. I'm so real with them in the inbox. If you be like, hey, hey, sexy, blah, 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 I'd be like, thank you so much, but please don't call me that. There is so many other dic- words in the dictionary that you can utilize that will identify who Miss Diamond is. So please choose another one. You know what I mean? And it's and I say this is out of love. You know what I mean? I say this is out of love and this is out of respect for who I am. You mm-hmm. feel what I mean? So if I don't command my respect, one thing I don't want to do is be in line with everybody else that you look at and say that they're sexy. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I am much, much more than the whole sexy. When you get to get a chance to actually sit and talk to Miss Diamond, you'll see that um, beauty brings and a whole lot more. You know what I mean? There's a lot more that comes with me. So what, what, what? They might be looking for it in three women is already in this one. So I understand. You know what I mean? That it could be easy to fall in love and with. This me. Woman is my okay. So uh okay, oh yeah, okay. So here's another quote. Um, be yourself, mm. accept yourself, mm. value yourself, mm. forgive yourself, mm. bless yourself, mm. express yourself. Mm. Trust yourself, love yourself, and power yourself. <laughs> Mind up. I know, right? And that one that, that come that comes from the chapter Respect Yourself. And in, in that chapter, you know, I go into detail with telling you the different levels of respect. Cause some people just say think that, oh, if you don't uh talk to another guy or something like that or that's or another woman that's respecting yourself. It's so much deeper than that. You know what I mean? If you go on a, on a deeper, on a core level and really, really understand the definition of respect and, 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 and what it should mean for you, then you wouldn't tolerate half the things that we settle for. It doesn't matter. It could be your mother, brother, sister, cousin. People don't show you love and they don't show you respect. They showing you who they are for a reason.